Hello there, my friends. This is Avi Singh, your friendly neighborhood Power BI Pro. So I just got off the Talk Power BI call, and there was one question which I couldn't solve. And if you're anything like me, it's like an itch, and you have to solve. So I couldn't solve it completely, although I'm pretty confident that we had the right track. So I'm going to try to solve it now, and we'll see how that goes. Um, so the scenario was how to combine files in a folders which do not have headers. And actually, then we had a different, uh, also the nuance to that was we have Excel and CSV files. So the scenario here is that we have uh, some uh, text files which do not have header or CSV. I just use text for the same thing. And we have some Excel files which do have a header. And, and we just need to combine all of them together. So I'm just going to go through that and see how things go. And yeah, sorry, it might be a long video. So here is my Excel file, and this one does have a header. All right, so let's get started, my friends. We're going to go in here, and I'm going to start the query editor. I'm going to be spending some time there, and I'm going to say new folder. Uh, and I'm going to give it that fat. Go here, hit OK, and I'm trying to first get the text files, and we'll see how it goes. And here I say combine and edit. Go first file. Um, I can be more specific, like this file. I'll just say data1.txt. I kind of like that. I like being a little more specific, and we'll hit OK. And that didn't work because it brought in all the garbage X, XLSX, but that's all right. I can. This was I was only trying to get the CSV or the text files. Source. Um, I'll just call them text for now, right? So it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So we'll go back to the source and we'll filter filter it out. So we'll just say, you know what? Only give me the text files. And by the way, when you do this, watch out for what it types in the formula. Sometimes it gets it right. So it says file type is txt. Sometimes it'll say it's not xlsx. It really, if there are only two options, you can't really tell what, what you want it to, to have. So let's just see what it did. Uh, perfect. So extension is saying .txt. That's what I want. And now if I go in here, uh, this is column one, two, three. Perfect. Looks great. So now I'm going to go back and get the Excel files and see how that goes. So let's go back to the same folder. And this time we'll choose X, Excel, xlsx. So we'll say file folder and do I have the folder name still perfect so I just pasted that and and this time so if you watch the live talk power bi I was doing combine and edit and that was getting messed up because it 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 tries to frankly figure this out by themselves and that wasn't the right path because it was getting tripped up it was getting you know thinking it's a txt file so uh, the right thing I realized is to not say combine and edit and say so whoa 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 credit editor hold on I know there's a mix of files and I know you're going to get confused. So you know what? Yeah, do me a favor. Don't try to combine it yet, right? So I'm just going to say edit, right? And, 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 and this one just gives you files. And now we got more control. So now I can filter down to XLSX. So again, remember, we've already done the text files. And this time, we're trying to go back to the same folder, but parse the XLSX files, right? So now we have this. And ready? We just say expand the content. So I'm going to click here. And now it's got the right context. Now it's not going to get confused about the text files. Now there are only Excel files in this. So now it says, oh, okay, cool. I'm trying to combine Excel. What do you want to do? And I say, yeah, yeah just go to the sheet one and just combine all of it. There we go. And now it has it. And remember the original challenge that we had where this one didn't have the column headers. And, and and you would think that now you can take this and append these two together, but it doesn't work that way. What you're going to end up with, you're going to end up with uh, name, sales, date, and you're going to end up with column one, column two, column three. So we do need to solve the problem of the text file having its own headers, and we solve that by supplying a, a header file. So what I did here is I 
it just entered the data in Power BI. I often do that when I'm in a hurry. <laughs> and and you don't have to do it this way. Now, of course, if you have a complicated file with like, I don't know, 20 columns, you probably don't want to do it this way. But, you know, you can source it from a file and it can come from anywhere. You can keep it anywhere you want, right? And you're going to source the headers, but it doesn't matter. Now, the key thing is that in this file, you do keep column one, column two, column three, because you're going to need that to match it with the other file. Oops. Uh, yeah, so text headers, and, and yeah, so this has column one, two, three, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say go to text headers, and I'm going to say append queries as new, all right? And just, yeah, just follow along. Once you see the end result, you're going to say, oh, yeah, of course it makes sense. So I say the primary table is text headers, but then go back to that source txt table and just, you know, so again, merge is when you have a table and you're trying to add something kind of on the side. That's merge queries right here. But we're trying to append, and, and that one is, so append queries just stacks tables on top of each other. And you can, of course, have, do more than one tables, more, more than two tables. So here, I just have two tables. And source txt is not really like a single. It's going to a folder and combining all the text files in there. But now all I need is the headers on top of that, sitting on top, and this is going to give me that. So this will say uh, source uh, txt with headers. And, and now we have... Uh, yeah, this looks good. So, uh, so I, I realized that maybe we should have had uh, one source named that there as well. Let me quickly fix that. All right, so now that null is gone, it's all good. And this is ready for me to just say use first row as headers. And now I have the same consistent headers through my text side. So name, sales, date, source name, and XLSX has name, sales, date, source name. And now I can finally append these two together. So uh, I'll say, uh, and this will be source text with headers. Does, doesn't really matter. I mean, you can use uh, the Excel file or this. They all look alike now. And then I'm going to keep uh, the source XLSX. <laughs> Hard for me to say it now. And this will be our final data table. Boom! Mic drop! I'll see you next time, my friends. Until then, power on.